Hi, my name is Philip Chase. Today I'll be showing you how to use the Research Electronic Data Importer to automate the process of loading clinical data from an electronic medical record into a REDCap study data capture system. First, a little background on REDCap. REDCap is an electronic data capture tool designed for research purposes. It uh, is a survey tool. It's also a manual, manual data entry tool, always web-based. It has the ability to import data but the process can be challenging, and importing clinical records into it is especially challenging, as those records lack the details that the REDCap system would need to align the clinical data with other research data. RedEye's purpose is to address that gap in REDCap's functionality, make REDCap better, and get clinical data in faster. Not that it's limited to clinical data, it can handle pretty much any CSV data but the initial implementations have been targeting clinical work. So the first thing I'd like to do is run RedEye against this REDCap installation. And we are going to load a little bit of data that RedEye needs to do its job. It needs to know where to put some data. And we're going to start RedEye. And while it's running, i will show you what it's doing. So I'm going to slide over to a text editor. And we're going to look at this file. This file is a CSV file, a comma separated variable file. It's a simple text file that was generated by an Epic Clarity system. Of course, we de identified it after we got it from the Epic Clarity system. And it shows components of lab tests chemistry tests, CBCs, INRs, HCV RNA tests. And we need to get this data into the REDCap project. The catch is this file can't go straight in. It does not have the details about the REDCap project that REDCap's going to need to put the data in the right locations. So we have to do a series of transformations. Um, just show you an example, one of those here. The um, records in the lab and that the uh, Clarity file were identified by a component ID that says which component it is. Was it white blood cell, for instance? So white blood cell count was identified by this number. But this number is specific to one epic system. It has no broader meaning. So we have designed RedEye to consume standard values, such as link codes. So we have to convert the component IDs that are local clinical identifiers into uh, standards, white code in this case. So that's one of the transformations that we do to the data. There's some others adding in REDCap field names, form names, the list of events. Suffice to say we do all that work and then RedEye, well we provide those details to RedEye and RedEye can do its job to transform the data into a format that REDCap can consume and then load that data into REDCap. So let's take a look. So our um, RedEye run has completed, and at the end, it sends out an email to um, someone on the study team. In this case, it's just my email address. And this email is going to summarize what happened. So let's take a look at a summary email. And here we see the results of the import run. You see it ran today. You see the REDCap server it put data into here. You can see how many subjects it loaded data for. You can see down in here details about the subjects. You can see that subject number three had 15 CBC forms, for instance. If there were any alerts or warnings in the process, those would be provided here as well. There weren't any on this run. Let's go take a look at REDCap and look at this data for subject number three that was imported. So pop over to Chrome. We're back into this REDCap system. This one uh, was created for the HCB target project. Now, when we first came in here, it had zero records of data. We're going to reload this page, and that number is going to change from zero to five. And indeed, our total record count has risen. We're now at five. Let's find a subject. We were looking at subject number three before. So what you hear, see here is what the REDCap uh, software calls the event grid. It shows the different forms going down the side here. 
it shows the events. These are different time points for uh, for these forms. So you could have multiple CBC forms, for instance, happening in event one, two, three, four. Each one of these green dots represents an event where there is data. These are, these are completed forms. The red dots are incomplete or completely empty forms. So let's take a look at, say, um, event 11 CBC form. You can see it identifies the data on which the uh, lab was recorded. This is a uh, lab test from the future, of course. And it describes the results for each of the lab tests and the units for each one of those. We have numerous lab tests here that are part of the CBC. This is what Red Eye does. It gets this data loaded in for us. So if this interests you, um, I invite you to join us in uh, using Red Eye. It is an open source project. It's hosted at GitHub. It's an open source project licensed under the uh, BSD 3 clause license. And we invite you to download it, install it, test it, uh, provide us feedback, and help us make it better. Thank you for watching today.